Welcome back to KTSM 9 News at 10 p.m. We are live from Aggie Memorial Stadium where New Mexico State just wrapped up its second home game of the season against South Carolina State. The Aggies coming into this one 0-3 on the season, looking for their first victory in a fall football season since they beat UTEP in 2019. Of course, they beat Dixie State last spring in their truncated two-game spring season, but doesn't really count to Aggies fans. It was not played here at Aggie Memorial Stadium. It was actually played at the Sun Bowl. A special event tonight. Dino Maldonado, a sophomore quarterback, a walk-on for the Aggies, making the start for New Mexico State against South Carolina State in place of the injured Jonah Johnson and Weston Egott, trying to lead the Aggies for their first win of the season. Let's go ahead and roll the highlights from Aggie Memorial Stadium. New Mexico State running out in its crimson uniforms through the gates, and there is Maldonado. Getting ready to go on the sideline. First Aggies drive. Things started out really well for them. Jawan Price would cap it off with a touchdown run up the middle. That was a very strong opening for New Mexico State. They were quickly up 7 to nothing after a South Carolina State punt. Here come the Aggies once more. It would be Omari Samuels, the transfer from Michigan native of Los Lunas, scoring his first touchdown as an Aggie. That would make it 15 to nothing. New Mexico State after one quarter of play. Second quarter, it was Jawan Price once again getting into the end zone. His second touchdown of the evening would make it quickly 22 to nothing. New Mexico State after South Carolina State finally got on the board to make it 22 to six. It was Dino Maldonado, the quarterback we talked about in the open, an absolute dime into the corner for Jared Wyatt. 30 yards in that corner of the end zone for a 29 to 6 New Mexico State advantage. And after a South Carolina State touchdown made it 29 to 13, the ensuing NMSU drive. The first play of the drive, matter of fact, Maldonado up top to Isaiah Garcia Castaneda. 41 yards for the touchdown. The second time they've linked up the season, it was 36 13 at halftime. Second half, the Bulldogs fight back. Fourth quarter, Corey Fields to a diving Wolverine on fourth down to make it a two score ball game. Two minutes remaining after another touchdown it would be fields to the big fella Yancey Washington suddenly it was an eight point game with a minute and a half to go South Carolina State would get the ball back with about a minute to play but fields would end it right there and it's interception by Nick Gia Colon that would end it for the Aggies as they hold on for the 43 35 victory they are now one and three on the season made it a little more interesting than necessary Dino Maldonado the big story three to 21 yards passing three touchdowns in the victory but afterwards Doug Martin would not not commit to him starting at quarterback for the Aggies long term. Didn't do as well as we needed to, especially when they started pressuring. And that's the things that, you know, he just doesn't have enough experience to handle that part of things quite yet. You know, and he'll get there. And we're close to getting, I think, Jonah and Weston back. Um, both of them possibly could have played tonight had we really needed them. Uh, but we wanted to try to get out of this game without risking any further injury to those guys so we could hopefully get them healthy moving forward and you know we accomplished that so we'll see where they are you know this week with the reps throughout the week I, I felt like I was going to be comfortable today and my line did a great job my receivers do a great job of getting open and it's just my do job to give them the ball I feel great it's, it's football I've played football my whole life I love the game my teammates love the game you wouldn't think we're one and three right now this this team wants to win and, and we're going to go try and do that every week Maldonado, the first Aggie quarterback to throw for over 300 yards at his first start since 2007. But again, Doug Martin not totally committing to him for next week. Could be seeing Jonah Johnson or Weston Egan if they can come back from injury. The Aggies now 1-3. and three. They will host Hawaii for homecoming next Saturday at Aggie Memorial. We'll have much more for the Aggies at, uh, on KTSM tomorrow.